Good morning, GMS. I'm Jackson. And I'm Colton. Welcome to the GMS News Show for the week of November 14th, 2022. Information on the 21st Century Scholarship Program can be found by visiting the GMS homepage. Students must apply during the 7th or 8th grade year. There's a link under the resources section on the homepage. If your child needs to leave early from school for an appointment, please send a note with them to school. Students have been made aware that they need to take the note to the front office before school starts. GMS will be partnering with the Go Good Cheer Fund to help provide holiday meals for Johnson County residents in need. We will be collecting canned goods from November 28th to December 15th at school. Start getting your canned goods ready. The Greenwood Education Foundation's Thankful for Teachers promotion is underway. I want to thank your special teacher or staff member that has inspired your life and education? Check out the Thankful for Teachers flyer on the GMS homepage. You can send a small gift and a thank you note to let a teacher or staff member know their hard work has not gone unnoticed. The Thankful for Teacher promotion lasts for the entire month of November. Thanksgiving break is coming up. It starts on the week of the 21st. School resumes on the week of the 28th. Now let's go to the interview of the week. Top training in the GMS Sports Update. Have an amazing week. I'm Jack Brinker, and let's look at the GMS Sports for this week's home events. Uh, on Monday, November 14th, 6th grade girls basketball versus Beach Grove, starting at 5 o'clock. Tuesday, November 15th, 6th grade girls basketball versus Shelbyville, starting at 5 o'clock. Wednesday, November 16th, 7th grade boys basketball versus Indian Creek starting at 5.30 p.m. Thursday, November 17th, 7th grade boys basketball versus Center Grove North starting at 5 o'clock p.m. That's all for sports. Hello, welcome to Top Training where we share the top red and training stories of the week. I'm Alan. And I'm Lily. Let's get started. According to Doggo News, a four-month-old giraffe at the San Diego Zoo in Escondo, California is finally standing tall thanks to a custom leg brace. This giraffe was born on February 1, 2022, with her front legs bending properly. An experienced clinic has been creating custom leg brace for humans for over three decades, but he had never worked on a giraffe before. It took eight days to complete it, but it worked on it for two months and she was standing and walking on her own. Also according to Doggo News, Glow-in-the-dark dolphins may seem something straight out of a science fiction movie. However, that is precisely what Newport Coastal Avengers Captain Ryan Lawrence and professional videographer Patrick Cohn witnessed on April 22, 2020, when they set out to explore the spectacular neon blue tides that have been lightening up the waters off of Southern California's coast this mid-April. That's all for Top Trading. Have a great week, GMS. Welcome to GMS Roll Call. Today we're asking what students are thankful for. I like my food that I get. My dog. I'm thankful for my two cute tacos. <laughs> I'm thankful for food. I'm thankful for my family. I am just so thankful for this wonderful building. All of the wonderful staff members and that, that Mr that Mr. Welsh can give us a first-hand account of history. Thank you, GMS. I'm thankful we live, we live in a country where everyone can be educated. I'm thankful for my family. Um, I'm, thankful, I'm thankful for my family and then Albany, she's over there somewhere, I don't know. I'm thankful for Mrs. Havens, my bestie teacher. <laughs> I'm thankful for honestly anything. I am thankful that my bestie student, Lillian Hufford, came by to see me today. Love you.